All right, guys, hope you can hear me again. I'm just going to go through the back part of the sheet. So, <clears throat> explain how you can compare two thirds and four fifths using the same numerator rule. Now, the problem you've got is that they're not actually the same. So, you're going to have to make them the same. Now, the easiest way to do this uh, is to change the two thirds. Because if I try and make the fourth of the four fifths become two, the problem is because five is an odd number, you're going to end up with two over 2.5. That's not something we really want to do. So we're going to have to change the two thirds. So we're going to have to make the numerators the same. So this here has been times by two. So this gets times by two. Also to make sure that the fraction stays the same size as an equivalent. Now the numerators are the same. We can compare the denominators. So obviously if we want something bigger, we're looking for a denominator that's smaller. So it would be the four fifths. Okay, so you can say that four fifths is greater than two thirds. Right then, so we've got Scott scored 20 out of 24 in a game. Danny scored five out of seven. So hopefully you can spot what we're going to do here. We're going to turn this into 20. What we're going to times that by? Times that by four. So we're going to have to times 7 by 4 also, 7 fours, we know are 28. So when you think about this um, and comparing their scores, who is closer to getting um, all of the tests correct, so to speak, or winning the game? 20 is closer to 24 than 20 is to 28. So this fraction here must be bigger, okay? If you had two jugs, for example, this jug here, uh, that you could fit 24 in, and then you stacked up 20, that'll be almost full. If you put 20 into a jug that's 28, it's not going to be as full as that. So here is the greater fraction. Right, comparing these here. Now the first one, um, first one here, A, uh, I know straight away that this is bigger because it's um, a mixed number. Um, B here, we have to do some converting. So this is going to become six. Uh, 15th, uh, so it's going to be that way. Over here, 11 thirds, so it's going to be that way. Uh, over here, we do it again, keep going mixed, so this one's going to be worth 7 fifths. This is going to be a third. This one here is already top heavy anyway. This one here in the middle, um, 3 and something is much bigger than 1 and something. Next one over here, going to have to do some dividing for, um, for 101 over 3. So, there's the 1, 3, the 2, this becomes the bottom. Okay, so that is much bigger. Over here, we've got uh, 1 and 2 fifths would be 7 fifths. This would be four thirds. Um, then I would probably turn them both into fifteenths, I'd imagine. Um, so this would become okay, one fifteenth. This would get times times five. So this is twenty fifteenths. Twenty one fifteenths is bigger. Open up the room over here. Next one, we've got uh, three and two fifths, and then three and six elevenths. So six elevenths is really close to uh, half of eleven. Half of eleven is five and a half. So this is this little fraction here is over half. Here, two fifths, half of five is two point five. So two is less than half. So I know that this one is going to be bigger. Over here, uh, we're going to have to turn these either way. I'm going to turn this one top heavy. So I've got 11 nines are 99. Add the one is 100. 100 over 9. 100 over 9. 400 over 8. 100 over 8 is going to be bigger. Next one, we've got a couple of numerators that are the same. Nice and easy. Put it that way. Uh, this one over here. We've got. Uh, we are going to have to turn 12 into 36. So 36 fifteenths. So that's larger. And then lastly, but not least, we've got 
Well, we could either keep going away. I'm going to do this one here. One, 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 two, three. Two, three times eight, two. Three times 27. That's just worth 37, which is much bigger than that. And then lastly, explain how you know when it's best to compare the numerators or denominators of two fractions. So if the numerators are the same, you can compare the denominators. For example, let's make our numerators the same and our denominators different. You can simply look at the smaller denominator. When our denominators are the same and our numerators are different, then it's going to want to be the one with the numerator that is larger. So they almost work in opposite ways. Hope that was helpful for you, and I'll see you soon.